right, so I think we're looking for something over here based on the colors that popped up before everything else. Not entirely sure, but we have decided, have started our descent, if that's not already obvious. Only 4,700 feet above sea level, so... Keep an eye on that. Otherwise, now just keep your eyes peeled. And I noticed something else in the preview. Even though that runway is tiny, there's this long grass runway next to it. So, we're going to try to land on that. But if it doesn't work, we'll try that too. And we're going to look for those funky parking spaces. Shouldn't be too hard to find, I don't think. But, I don't know. Oh, what is this cool looking stuff? I love these isolated little towns, just like the rural Midwest, except no mountains where we are, but the towns are laid out the same way. Keeping our eyes peeled. That looks some, something over there, but it doesn't have any parking spaces. And that's way too big. Nothing over here, but we're just looking around. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there's the paved runway and there's the really long grass runway. Okay, cool. Alrighty, let's, um, well, let's not change much, actually. Let's just fly over the town and then we'll try to land on the paved runway if it's not too short. We'll see. I don't think the paved runway's gonna work, but we'll try as long as it doesn't count as a crash because I don't have to redo that last bit again. That was a long bit. Um, but we'll try. We'll see how it goes. Check that out. The old mixed with the new. That's a big city. It's a big town. Alrighty, if we touch down that stall, we might be able to land on that pavement. It's really short, but should be able to do it. Although we're so dang fast. I don't know. We're way fast. Um, let's slip it here. Whoop, whoop, there we go. We'll slip it a little bit. Come down very quickly. Look how fast we're coming down. 2,000 feet per minute. Without gaining any speed. This thing loves to slip. Alright, let's take it out of the slip. Let's turn. And then when we level off, we should slow down like crazy. Let's not get any lower though. We won't be able to see where we're headed. Um, okay, there you go. First flap, second flap. Nice. That worked great. Feels like when you stop a boat. Alright. Oh boy, let's see if this works. <laughs> if anything, we'll stop in the grass. Hopefully none of that counts as a collision. It almost looks like we should come from the other way. And then, if you overrun, you just overrun into the grass right off the tip of the nose. Do you see that? Always, if you overrun this, we're going to overrun into trees. But we're going to try anyway. Or maybe I'll stop in the grass. No, because going from grass to Pima can be a collision. Oh, let's stay right above stall. Just tease stall in the air, which you should not do. So don't do that. Alrighty, put the lines between your legs. You're a little bit crossing from the right, actually. But put the lines between your legs so you're centered. No reversers in this. So it's just on the brakes as soon as we make contact. We have to touch right out that number. Very precise. Oh, this is fun. Where's that stall horn any second here? There we go. Let it come down. And touch right on the pavement. Boom. And brakes. Flaps coming in. Oh, that was easy. I didn't even use half the runway. What was I worried about? All right, time for the final leg. Let's go. And they put us on the grass, which is hilarious. That's really funny. Oh, that's funny. At least it counted both. That's interesting. Oh, that green up there. Okie dokie. Uh, reset, please. Thank you. We're not even on the runway, though. Kind of off to the side. Um, one flap. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Let's keep reading. Here we go. Um, final leg. Sierra November. Which we'll find out what that means in a minute. Um, Colonisa. Col Colonica Air Strip. I guess. Okie dokie, take off from the airbase instead of heading to the east and gain visual on the southern end of Domaza. 
Reservoir, the region along this corridor, is typical of this type of terrain, rolling terrain. Okie dokie, so that's 87 degrees for 8 minutes, the reservoir. At 87 degrees, which is, you know, pretty much straight. A little bit to the right, so here we go, parking brake off. Ramp this up. Well, parking brake was off, okay. Let's see if we can climb this time. It's having to go 20 miles before we can climb, it's so strange. Like I said, there must be something I'm not doing right with this aircraft, but whatever. Doing the best we can. We were able to get over those mountains a couple legs ago, so that's fine. Man, this thing takes forever. Yeah, there's no way there would have been enough room on that pavement to take off. Just because, just because you can land does not mean you can take off. If you think about that, it's true. Whoa! Oh, I didn't do that. It, like, just freed itself and flew up. Okay. Brakes to stop the wheels. Flaps coming in. What is 84, 87, 87 degrees. Let's not collide with these trees. Um, that's too close for comfort. There's 60 degrees, really. Fine, let's just go like this, I guess. Gain some speed? I don't really understand. Now we're gaining speed. There's something going on with this aircraft that I'm not understanding. But it's our final leg, so once we park it, we're done. All right, 87 degrees, about there, by the time we roll out, perfect. I'm going to do this for how many hours? Eight minutes. Looking for a reservoir, and you hear my voice again when we get there. Probably before that, but maybe when we get there. Yep, you're hearing my voice already. I'm having a hard time climbing out of here, man. Like, every time I start to climb, the nose will dip later. So, we got close train on the right. Dips down on the left. Looks beautiful, but once again, challenging departure here. I will not be sad to be done with this aircraft. So, I thought we were friends, but we were just cordial to get through this. Reservoir has been spotted after the hills. It was hitting behind the hills, and we were going right for it until I was trying to do a sightseeing shot and screwed everything up. But now we're back on track. So, even though we're not quite there yet, let's read about the next thing. Eight minutes, yeah. So we set this camera up to go over the water. Once we're over the water, we're going to turn onto a southeast heading at the reservoir, fly along the low rolling terrain and sight the town of Humini which lies at the confluence of the river and the other river. The Lubberick River drains the Lubberick Highlands of the outer eastern Carpathians, and the Sircocha River drains the Bukovec Range, also of the outer eastern Carpathians. Okie dokie, so the two nostrils of the outer eastern Carpathian drain into this river. So, 
terminate at the reservoir, so I'm not going to be set the timer until we get there, and then five minutes until we get to the city, so let's get to the water, and then we'll turn towards that city. My goodness, this train turbulence is throwing us around like a plastic bag that got stuck in an air current. Holy moly. I'm just so glad it's not registering as stressing the aircraft, because that would be a huge bummer. Huge bummer. But we're going to get over the water here and then make our turn towards the city, which is how many degrees? 113. And we're already at 90, 109. <laughs> so basically straight. So basically there's a city right there. Okay, that's fine. It's interesting how we're in the mountains, but these valleys are so vast that you don't for, don't realize that you're still in the mountains, right? You just see the ranges in the distance, but you're actually among them. It just doesn't seem that way. If there's a dam below us, we're not going to see it, I don't think. But yeah, basically we're just going to keep heading straight <laughs> towards our town, which I assume is this area right here. Alright, there's our town there. Let's actually go to this side because I think we're going to be turning left, right? Correct. So let's set up here so we can look at the town as we turn to the left. Why is our, our RPMs have shot up? I didn't do anything. They just shot up. Whatever. I'm going to stay with this altitude um, so we can find our airport. I think it's... I looked ahead. It's like here and then around the corner or something something like that so let's read about it here we go let's reset the timer because we're about to turn um turn left and follow the river to the town of snia snina snina lies on the confluence of two rivers between mountains and the volcanic mountains both on the outer eastern carpathian so we start on the west side and now we're going to the east side if that isn't obvious um, there's our town there, so we're going to go do that for about five minutes. Actually, let's reset it now, so we just hit the town. Then right after that, we're going to go another town, Stackton. Stack, um, it's right next, it's only two minutes away. And then that section is called uh, the Prime, Primeo, Primeval Beach Forts of the Carpathians. Then we're going to turn south at that second town and look for Low Tiny Airport with trees around it. Okie dokie. Whoa, let's not blow up our engine here. Good grief. Okay, so we're just going to follow this until we get to a city. Not that one. That one's too close. Probably that one. Then look for another tiny one. And then we'll um, turn right and look for an airport, which is in a field with trees around it, apparently. Alright, let's not slow down too much. Jeez. We are going to descend as well. Alrighty, looking at the town. And heading to a smaller town than a smaller town. Look at that compass down there. See that? And then we'll, um... Then we'll land. There's like a dam down there too. Interesting. Okie dokie. Let's get her done.
So here's Snina, 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 up in front of us. So we gotta turn over here to get uh, Satchin or something like that. We're getting kind of low, so let's climb. I did not mean to get this low. Oops. I was so busy looking around. That last screenshot was really long, even though I cut it down for you, but kind of screwed up what I was doing here. So let's climb a little bit. And then let's head towards Stack and Stack and Stuck. Stuckson? I don't know. Let's find it. Let's try to find it. Then we gotta try to find the airport and all this mess. This is gonna be a lot harder than it looks. But hey, there's a pretty city to look at. It's a pretty river. Pretty, pretty. Look, let's look out this way too in those hills. We blow the train though. That's where I like to be. I'm not saying it's the safest place to be, but that's where I like to be. Okay, I see the city there now. Coming in. So let's actually go over this mountain so we can make a turn. Hmm. What's our turn supposed to be? Our turn is supposed to be 150 degrees when all said and done. Keep an eye on that. Check for gyro drift a little bit. Okay, so sharp right turn. So we're above these hills. So let's go to this one. And then when we get to that city, we'll make a sharp right turn and see if we can find this strip in a field. The trees. Land right between the trees. Carved out just for us. With the fire engine waiting, apparently. Okie dokie, let's get ready for our turn. Save icon so we're good. So let's start our turn, I guess. Without losing altitude. You know what we need to do? We need to see what this airport is sitting at. Uh, what is it? 1,400 feet. So we're only 1,000 feet above it. And we want to be about 1,500 when we approach so we can see it. So we actually need to climb. Interesting. Good thing I thought to check that or we would never find this thing. We'd be way too low. Oh boy, 152, because we don't know if we go down that valley or down that valley. So we really need to rely on our compass. So 152, where does that put us? 152 and how much time away? 152, whoops, and three minutes. So let's do the timer for three, two and a half minutes, sorry. And 152, so it's this valley, because this is 120. 130. This mountain is not happy we're so close. And 140. Okay, so it's going to be over here if it's 152. All right, let's follow this valley till we see the runway. I don't know if it's going to be straight in or for perpendicular or what. No idea. So here we go. Very beautiful, though, along the way. And there's that city I can't pronounce. Everything's along a river in a valley between mountain peaks, which is obviously how everything is best placed. And, yep, stating the obvious. <laughs> I'm just kind of nervous. Kind of nervous because when we get to close to the end of a bush trip, it's like, I'm not sad that it's over, but I don't want it to be over, but I don't want to screw it up at the end either. You know what I mean? So, I get kind of nervous. Um... As far as this bush trip being one of my favorites, it's not, eh, I don't know. It's pretty and stuff, but, oh, there's a runway right there. It, how do we land on that? It's pretty and everything, but, um, I think that's it. Oh, is that it, or is that another airport? There could be another airport here. That might not be it. Yeah, that's it, because it puts you in the middle of the map. Okay. This is going to be interesting, because we're way too high, we're way too fast. Let's slip the crap out of this. And, um, we're going to have to come down over those trees, teasing the stall horn, so that I can drop straight down over the trees without gaining too much speed. And then that'll be enough to, um, that'll be enough to stop in time. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, we're way too fast. Shoot. Um, I guess this will be our inspection pass. Um, what does it look like from the other side? Same thing. Mm, okay, the, oh, the other side, there's a big opening. If we do a little dog leg. Well, we shouldn't really dog leg that, but... Okay, let's come from the other way just because we can. So let's get some speed just enough to get going. 
and try not to um, climb too much. Okie dokie for a set of flaps. Let's turn around, keep our speed way down, full flap. And what we're going to do is come over those trees right at stall. So when we nosedive over the tree, then um, we won't gain too much speed. Where are you? Come on. Hello, there you are. <laughs> Jeez. I'm like, what's going on here? Okie dokie. Oh boy. See how I was thinking I could dog leg through there, but we don't need to. We have plenty of runaways as long as we come over those trees at stall. So, here goes nothing. Of course, the most difficult landing is last. That's fine. It's only difficult because that tree is in the way. In real life, this entire area starting right under the nose would be clear, obviously. So, let's just not hit the tree. Let's almost stall on the tree, though. And then we can nosedive right over it, right after it, I mean. So, let's keep an eye on that tree. Ready? There's stall. Perfect. And are we past the tree? Are we past the tree? Let's say we're past the tree. Oh my gosh, and there's traffic. But see how the we're not getting too much speed? Perfect. Please don't be a collision when we hit that truck. We're not going to hit it. Oh, look out. Look out, buddy. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, well, hopefully you enjoyed this bush trip. Um, one more bush trip to go before we catch up with the Chuxia World update. So make sure you're subscribed so you know when that bush trip drops. And hit like so people know we exist. It's super late. I'm going to bed, and I'll see you next time.